In this video, we will be looking at how to find equations of lines, including how to um, find the parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, first there's two forms of the equation of a line. First is the slope-intercept form, which you may recall as y equals mx plus b. B, if you remember, scooch down here, that is your y-intercept. y-intercept of your graph. And m, if you remember, is the slope of the graph. Okay? Point-slope form you may not recall, but it is commonly used and referred to as the standard form. So it, it says this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we actually use this quite a bit to get it into slope-intercept form, as you will see. So make sure you know the difference between those two equations and which one's which. Okay, what is slope? If you remember from Algebra 1, slope is the rise over the run. Okay, it's also known as the rate of change of a graph. Okay, the rate of change, and we calculate it using a formula. If you remember, m is for slope. The formula says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what's really happening is you view change in your y's over the changes in the x. And some of you may have seen it taught as delta y over delta x. But it's the same thing. It's the change of the y's over the change of the x. Now, there, you should know these general types of slope. You, know, you should know these general types of slope. If the graph is going uphill, that's a positive slope. If the graph is going downhill, it's a negative slope. The vertical line, if you recall, has a slope of it's called undefined. An example would be something like 3 over 0, where 0 is in the denominator. If it is a horizontal line, that means the slope is 0. Simple enough. Make sure you know those things. Okay, so finding an equation of a line in slope-intercept form given the slope, m, and a point. This is where I'm going to use the point-slope form and you may have been taught a different way to do this, and that is fine, as long as we end up at the same result. I'm going to use 3 as my m. That goes in here. And then 5 and 9 represent the y1, x1, y1. So this is x1, y1. So what I will have is y minus y1, which is 9, equals 3 times x, which is 5. No, I'm sorry. x minus 5. That's my x1. All right, if I distribute my 3, I get 3x multiply here, minus 15 equals y minus 9. Add 9 to both sides, and y equals 3x. Negative 15 plus 9 is negative 6. There's my equation of the line. Second example, given in this point, I'm not given a slope. I'm only given two points, so I have to calculate slope first. So here are my points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have to do this little calculation before I can go further. y2 is 7, minus y1 is 5. x2 is negative 3, minus y1 is 1. So what I have is 2 over negative 4, which reduces to negative 1 half. Now I know that m is negative 1 half. And I can pick either point to use in this the uh, standard formula. Won't matter. I just usually pick the point that has both positives, so there's fewer mistakes. So I'm going to use this first point, 1, 5. y minus 5 equals negative 1 half times x minus 1. Distribute y minus 5 equals negative 1 half x plus 1 half. I have to add 5 to both sides. Okay, I'm just going to scoot over here and rewrite this. Negative 1 half x plus 1 half plus 5. Now, I have to get a common denominator of 2. So if you remember that 5 is the same as 1, 5 over 1. 
to get a common denominator of 2, I have to multiply both by 2. So that's 10 over 2. Now I can add these two. Sorry, I forgot my x. So it's y equals negative 1 half x plus 11 halves. And I'm okay with improper fractions as answers as long as they are simplified. Yes, you will have to deal with fractions, so remind yourself how to do them. Or come in for help. Now let's talk about parallel lines versus perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are two lines on a graph that will never intersect because their slopes are the same. Okay, slopes are the same. Um, you should recall that. Perpendicular lines are two lines that cross with a 90 degree angle. Okay, the slopes of their lines are negative reciprocal, which you may have been taught flip and switch. Okay, so you flip it over and you switch the sign. For example, let me give you a little example. Let's say line one has a slope of four. Line two would then have a slope, if four is four over one, I flip it, I get one fourth, and this one was positive, so this one becomes a negative, okay? But you need to know these are, that means the two lines crosses the right angle. The slopes are related, they're flipped and switched. So here's an example of a problem that we'll see. Determine if the two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. In order to do that, I must find slope. So you're using just the slope formula. You have to work it twice, one for each line. So this one, slope is going to be 8 minus negative 4 means plus 4. 2 minus negative 2 means plus 2. So I have 12 over 4, which reduces to 3. So this line has a slope of 3. This one, do the same process. Negative 6 minus negative 5 means plus 5. 3 minus 0. So I get negative 1 over 3. So I look at these two. Is this flipped over? The three, over 3 over 1, if I flip it over, I get 1 third. This one's positive, this one's negative. So these two lines are perpendicular. That's my answer. And this is my proof, must show proof, always. Okay, next we need to decide um, how to write an equation of a line parallel and perpendicular to the line given through the given point. Okay, now, two different problems going on. First thing I need to do is that you should recognize that this is not in, in slope-intercept form, and I need it there to start with so I can identify my slope. I need to get y by itself. It should be pretty simple. All I need to do is isolate the y, so I'm just going to add 3 to both sides. And then my equation looks like this. y equals, sorry, my equation is this, 2x plus 3. Now I know the slope is 2. So for my parallel line, that's the slope I'm going to use. For my perpendicular line, it has to be flipped and switched. Okay? So I'm just going to write this. Parallel slope is going to be 2. The perpendicular slope if I flip over the 2, I get 1 half, but I have to switch the sign, so it'd be negative 1 half. So I've got to write two equations. So I'm going to do parallel first. Okay. And here's my x1, y1. Remember, I'm using standard form. It's the same thing. Okay. So if my slope is 2, 2 times x minus x1, which is 3 equals y minus y1, which is a 1. Distribute 2x minus 6 equals y minus 1. So y is equal to 2x minus 5. There's my equation of the parallel line. Perpendicular. Okay. My slope, I said over here, I'm going to use a negative 1 half. x1 is still 3. y1 is still 1. 
I distribute. 3 times negative 1, negative 3 times negative 1 half is a positive 3 halves, and that's okay. We can leave it like that. I need to get y by itself, so I have to add 1 to both sides. A little fraction work here. If I add 1, but I need a denominator of 2, remember 2 over 2 is the same as 1. So I simplify. Negative 1 half x. 3 plus 2 is 5 equals y. Again, fractions will be necessary. There's my two answers, and you can see all the proof that it takes. Special cases for you to note. Okay, if a line is like this, y equals 7. Well, if it's y equals 7, that means it has a slope of 0, and it's just a horizontal line. So, if it's parallel, the slope has a 0, just like this one's slope is 0. If it's perpendicular, the slope is undefined because if you flip over anything zero it's going to be undefined therefore it's going to be a vertical line okay so let me just show you a little trick here using this to write the parallel line the equation is going to look the same in this case it's y equals something so if it's parallel it's going to be y equals and what is the y equal in the point it's two if it's perpendicular well, it's switching from being a horizontal to a vertical. And that kind of equation is an x equals something. Okay, So a perpendicular line is going to be the opposite. If this is y, this would be x. And it's whatever the x value is, which is a 5. Okay. Let's try another one of these just to make sure you got this. All right, this time what they're giving you is a horizontal, I'm sorry, a vertical line. And they want you to tell them the perpendicular and the parallel. Okay, same process. Perpendicular, I'm going to switch. If this is x, I switch it to y equals, and then what is the y equal in my point? It's negative 11. The parallel is going to look exactly like the original, so this is an x, the parallel is an x, and it's whatever the x value is in the original point, so it's a 3. That's all there is to these special cases. Okay, in your notes, you're going to complete um, example 7. And you're going to find the line perpendicular to this line, y equals negative one-third x plus 5. And it goes to this point. Answer it in the list, and then show all your work. Make sure you have it ready to go in class.